everyone! So today I wanted to do a Flower Child Halloween makeup tutorial. This tutorial is inspired by an artist named Net Art on Instagram. She did this on a model, I believe it was like editorial makeup. I became very inspired by it and I wanted to recreate it immediately. <laughs> I'm going to leave her Instagram in the description below. Hope you check her out and I hope you enjoy this video. Right now I've already primed my face with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I am using the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer as well as the Urban Decay Naked Concealer on top of it, just a tiny bit. And I'm putting it in a triangle motion underneath my eyes, highlighting with it on my forehead and on my chin. I wanted to keep this look um, as natural as possible, which is why I chose the cushion foundation. I feel like it looks like skin and it, is, it has a beautiful finish and I wanted to make sure I brightened all of the areas I needed to, which is what I did with the concealer. And I'm just blending all of that out, making sure to put it all over my eyelids as well to eliminate any discoloration because the model that is in the photo has none of that. <laughs> And I'm spooling out my brows and then I'm going to add some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder all over the face just to mattify and in preparation of the powder products I'm going to be applying. Next I'm applying some clear brow gel. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is what I'm going to use to make sure the bronze eyeshadow adheres to it and adheres to my hair specifically. Otto's eyebrows were a little fuller than mine, but I will mimic that by using the bronze shade and just filling in the gaps of my eyebrows. And I'm just running the bronze color, which is Betty Luminizer by The Bomb, which is a bronzer slash eyeshadow. And I'm just running that through my eyebrows until I get to the opacity that I like. Next I'm using the Benefit What's Up highlighter and just putting that on my eyes to act as a wet base for the Betty Luminizer that I'm going to put on top of it, just so it pops a little bit more. And now I'm adding with a little tiny detail brush the Betty Luminizer on top of the What's Up highlighter that I placed previously. Next I'm just carving out my eyebrows using a little bit of my foundation just to perfect it a little more. I am a f Next I'm adding some Makeup Revolution blush. Just mixing all of the colors together and then putting them on my cheeks. If you have a darker skin tone, you can probably get away with more blush than I have, but since I am so fair, it can get to look a little crazy. Next, I mimic the lip stain that the model had in her photo. It's a Rimmel lip stain. I'm just dabbing it in, making it look a little bit less, a little messy, and making, making sure that the outer edges are not as opaque as the inner edges. 
Next I'm adding some mascara. This is the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. It came in the Chloe Morello Beauty Haul that I reviewed earlier this month. Next I am highlighting with the same loop, the Manizer Sisters palette. I am using Mary Luminizer, which is very popular on my cheekbones, nose, the eyebrows, and right above the cupid's bow. Now I found flowers around my house. They were all the same size, so I just took them off, took the little plastic things off of them as well. I used lash glue to adhere the flowers to my face. I figured if I could put that on my eyelids, I'm sure that it is safe to use on my face. Please correct me if I am wrong and do not do that if it is harmful. It did wash right off as well. It was a little bit sticky, but it did wash off, so I wasn't worried at all and I didn't have any allergic reactions. If you are allergic to latex, that could be a problem though. I just added them sporadically in different sections of my face. I didn't want it to look completely symmetrical and I really enjoyed how it came out. This is just a simple and easy, fun makeup tutorial. It could be used for Halloween, maybe if you're last minute, or just for fun, or maybe photo shoots that you may have. Anything like that. I think it's just a fun thing to do and try, and I would recommend it to anyone. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, just leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you'd like, and I will see you in my next video. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye-bye. socks what <laughs> I'm just like did I hear you properly in my head